We've deleted a lot of unneeded faces, and now we'll make a few final cleanup edits by removing and inserting some edges. First, let's take a look at the main body of the arcade. I'll select the object and hit Control-1 to isolate the selection. Now that we've deleted the side faces, there's really no reason to have these additional edges on the back of the body. In the reference image, the back of the body is perfectly vertical, so we really only need one quad to define the backside of the model. To remove this extra detail, I'll switch to Edge Mode by right mouse clicking and choosing Edge. Then I'll select the unwanted edges and hit Backspace to remove the edges. But if we right click and switch to Vertex Mode, you'll notice that the vertices that were supporting the deleted edges haven't been removed, so we'll need to select and delete them too. It's easy to forget this step, but you'll want to make sure you always eliminate stray vertices after selecting and deleting edges. A quick aside, if you ever need to insert an edge along a quad, the Mesh Tools Insert Edge Loop command is a great option. Clicking on an existing edge creates a new edge that extends across the quad or along an entire edge loop. Drag it into position and release the mouse to create the edge, and click drag again if more edges are needed. We've already learned that edges can also be inserted one vertex at a time using the Multicut tool, which is also found in the Mesh Tools menu, but the Insert Edge Loop command is a much faster option if multiple edges are needed. But we actually don't need any edges added to the body of this model, so I'll remove these insertions by hitting Z or Control Z to undo. In an earlier video, I mentioned that the Bevel command often creates N-Gons. If we zoom in on one of the arcade cabinet's side panels, we'll see that this has definitely been the case with our model. Now, depending on the game engine you're working with, this might not be a problem. Some engines will automatically just convert these polygons into triangles. But just to be safe and establish good habits, we'll take care of these n-gons ourselves here in Maya. The process is pretty simple. Just select an n-gon, go to the Mesh menu, then activate the Triangulate command. This Triangulate tool automatically creates edges between existing verts to eliminate all n-gons without adding to the total number of triangles. Then, if we prefer to convert these triangles to quads, which is usually desirable when creating textured meshes or preparing an asset for animation, we'll just return to the Mesh menu with the faces still selected and choose Quadrangulate to merge as many of these triangles as possible into four-sided polygons. If your model includes a large number of n-gons like ours does, you can automatically select the n-gons by going to the main menu and choosing Mesh Cleanup. This tool can be used to address a range of potential modeling errors, but for now, we're just going to use it to select n-gons. Click on the Select Matching Polygons radio button, and also on the checkbox to select Faces with More Than Four Sides. Then, select the object or objects, and click Apply. Maya will automatically select all the n-gon faces, so all we'll have to do is go to Mesh Triangulate, then Mesh Quadrangulate to finish the operation. At last, our geometry is clean and ready to texture. In the next video, we'll explore the process of adding color to our models.